Presley Snipes here. How to make it in a music business podcast book. Make sure you get the audio book. Um, if you haven't gotten it already, it's available now for free. I mean, you can listen to it on YouTube. Um, I just put uploaded the book, the whole book. Uh, I figured there were some people who probably couldn't, for whatever reason, afford the book or was skeptical about buying it. So I figured I might as well release it for free to um, everybody. Um, why not? I'll write another book. You know, it's like whatever. If you want to support it, go ahead and buy it. Uh, if you want to get a free uh, Audible trial, listen to it for free, you can sign up and get it that way. Um, today I'm going to answer a question um, that I got from my email today. This question just came in not even an hour ago. Um, I talked about a lot of subjects already about the music business, so I was just kind of like, damn, what am I going to make the next video about? So um, I guess I'm going to just start taking questions from people that have questions about anything that they listened to or read in the book. So here's one that's uh, coming from, I believe it's Tommy Flex. He has an X on where it was be Tommy. It could be Timmy Flex or Tommy Flex. I'm not sure because he got the X there. I think everybody's doing that now. It's like the cool thing to put an X on your name instead of like an O or whatever. So it's probably Tommy Flex. So um, it says, question related to Chapter 3, starting an LLC in Chapter 11. What's a PRO? So it says, hello, Mr. Snipes. My name is Tommy Fomario. Fomario. My name is Tommy Fomario. See, his name is Tommy Flex. My name is Tommy Fomario, and I want to first thank you for releasing your book on YouTube. This book provided me with a strong foundation of knowledge relating to the music industry. My question relates to Chapter 3, starting in LLC, and Chapter, chapter 11, what's a PRO? I'm a Canadian-born artist living outside Toronto, Ontario, and based on my research for a Canadian to obtain an LLC, he or she may be subject to double taxation. Even though I am just beginning my musical journey, I want to first handle the business side of my soul's passion so I can obtain a substantial return on investment in the future. Excuse me. Do you have any advice for a 21 year old Canadian artist regarding the business side? of the music industry, specifically on how to obtain certain certifications such as an LLC and the PRO. Also, any advice regarding the music industry in general will be greatly appreciated. I hope to hear from you soon and thank you again for the opportunity to listen to your book. Now, I don't know about Canadian law and um, I, don't, I don't know about starting an LLC in Canada. Um, you might want to talk to uh, a, a legal professional in your city in Toronto. Um, I'm sure I, I would assume that some of the same rules apply here as far as starting it. Um, you may have to pay a fee. Uh, it's usually 100 to 300 bucks, something like that, to file for an LLC. Um, but you really don't need an LLC. Starting out, I mean, it's cool to have an LLC starting out, but the, the purpose of starting an LLC is so that you can cash checks, so that you can do business transactions. And um, the reason you may want to start an LLC is because your business is starting to take off and, and things are happening in your business to where um, you might want to separate yourself as an individual from your business. For example, say... Um, my business is making a whole bunch of money and I'm just getting the checks in my name. I just tell people, hey, put the checks in my name, Presley Snipes, or my real name is Usal Alim. I'll say, put the checks in my name, Usal Alim. So now I have this business that I've received over $100,000 in checks in the past year. Um, and I can, I can, you know, as far as the IRS, I can just claim that I'm an entrepreneur and, um, you know, I work for myself, I'm self-employed, and I can pay taxes on that $100,000 and everything will be fine. Now, if my buddy comes along and says, hey, I like this business that you're doing. Um, I want to match you that 100000 you made. I'm going to put 100000 in your hands and in, in your bank account so that we can grow this business together. But I want to be 50-50 partners. So I want to be 40% partners or whatever. I'm giving you 40% for, um, you know, this 100000 I'm giving you. Now your LLC is, um, now, now you have partners in this business. Now it's not just you. So now when a check comes, obviously the guy who gave you the 100,000, 
he's your partner now. So he wants to split that money with you. So what do you give him? You're going to give him your ATM card and say, hey, just go on my account and take the money out and make sure you don't take my rent money out. No, you're going to want to have two different bank. You're going to want to have a separate bank account because now you have a business entity. Now it's not just you involved in the business. Now it's other people involved. So that's one reason why you would want to start an LLC. An LLC comes when there's already money being made and now we have to start separating things and doing things a little different. But when it's just you starting out, you don't really have to think about um, starting an LLC. That really should doesn't have to be one of your early concerns um, starting a music or a record label. Um, you can take checks in your name. There's nothing wrong with telling somebody, write a check in my name. You know, but certain situations start happening as you uh, grow, as your business grows, where you want to separate liability um, from your business and, and your personal situation. Like, for example, um, I think I put this example in the book. You know, you may be doing a show and um, somebody gets hurt at the show. The people, the person who gets hurt may want to sue you. So now, um, instead of your personal bank account being at risk, the business, the LLC business is at risk. So they, they can sue the LLC, but they can't sue you as an individual. So it keeps you safe from situations. It keeps your money safe. It keeps your personal accounts safe from anything that, from any liability that may happen with your company. And you may get LLC, you may get insurance for that company. So if something, someone tries to sue, um, they'll be suing that company, but your insurance for that company will cover that lawsuit. So it's just a way to separate you and distance yourself. But early on, all you really need to be doing is worried about making some good music, making some good product, because you're not going to make any money off of music unless you have some good music. So um, start, you know, you can start an LLC and get a card that says, you know, Chase Bank and your LLC name on it. It looks cool. But if there's no money coming into the account, then it's just like you're just doing it for for, for, for show. Um, so, yeah, it's just um, I, I really don't know about Canada's laws. You're going to have to look up. Um, you're going to have to look up some laws in Canada. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not sure. If, if you could be if you could be a Canadian doing business in America, if you want to get an LLC in America, that's something you're going to have to talk to a legal professional about. I'm not a lawyer, um, uh, you know, so I, I really couldn't tell you anything further about that. Um, as far as your other question, um, well, if you do want to register, your, you're talking about a PRO, University of the Music Industry in general, PRO. What's a PRO? So, again, a PRO is when a performer rights organization you you want to you want to um you want to work with a pro when you start making money when you got songs that are generating interest and generating profit that's when you want to sign up to a pro you can't sign up to a P to to a publisher's account and get a publisher's account and collect publishing royalties unless you have an llc set up so but like i said your pub your pro is going to be collecting no royalties if your music isn't selling so the first thing is you want to be making some good music. You want to make quality music, build a catalog. And when your catalog starts making money, then you want to start being concerned about, OK, I, do I need to set up a business account? Do I need to set up an LLC? Do I need to get partners? You know what I'm saying? Do, do I need to separate bank accounts? Do I want to, you know, that's when you start worrying about the business structure. But there's no business that there's no money. So I hope that answers your question. Just just make some good music, shoot some videos, put some good product together. And then um, once that starts flowing, you start seeing progress and there's money coming in. That's when you start thinking about LLC and a business account. But like I said, if there's no money, then there's no point in getting the LLC. Unless you unless someone puts some money in your hand and say, I want to be a business partner, here's a check. That's when you want to start an LLC. But until there's, until there's money coming in, there's really no point in starting an LLC. Uh, like I said, a PRO really doesn't come into play until your music is making money. So uh, the first step is, make, you know, make some good music, make some good content and then go from there. And um, don't be afraid to call lawyers and ask them for questions and get some counseling. A lot of lawyers will give you advice over the phone without charging you. So don't be afraid to reach out to lawyers. A lot of times you reach out to them by email. They'll respond to you more so than a phone call because then an email, they can respond to you on their own time. A phone call, you know, you got to got to schedule that. So. You know, don't be, don't be scared to find find a good entertainment lawyer locally and 
ask them some questions because um, usually they'll answer the questions because they know, well, maybe this, this is somebody who may be a future client of mine and maybe he will have a hit in the future. So I ask a few questions, you know, pro bono, but then when he needs a contract drafted, he'll probably come to me first since I was his go-to guy for legal um, advice. And um, that's, I hope that answers your question. Anybody have any other questions about the book, feel free to ask. Uh, working on episode 13 of Making Money with Prezi Snipes. Hey, this is my business card, man. The fuck is this shit, Holmes? I don't need that shit. I need fucking cash right now, dog. Come on, man. This ain't no fucking game. Hey, man. I ain't trying hey, to disrespect you, dog. this is a fucking game essay? Come on. Oh, man. It's a trip, man. Here, what you got in the oh, bag, shit. man? This is a game essay? Let's go. Let's go. should be out now uh check out criminals go wild too we did uh almost like 100 over 100 years of watch minutes on youtube shout out to youtube they just uh put me back into the monetization program so hopefully uh, i can make some good content and uh you know i could be uh this could be a productive year uh peace out uh thanks for subscribing subscribe if you haven't like comment share the video uh thanks a lot <laughs>